Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel and today I will show you macOS skin for Windows called My Dog Finder. And as you can see we are currently on their webpage and if we, I click right here to the Steam link right here on their webpage you will see that this program is also available on the Steam but it will be released on December 8th. So in approximately three weeks. But if we are already on the, on the Steam page, I will also show you some system requirements. So operating system wise, you will need Windows 10 version 1809 or higher. And it also supports Windows 11. Memory, you will need 512 megabytes of RAM and also 20 megabytes of available storage on your disk. So if I go back to the My Dog Finder uh, webpage, I will go to their second tab on the webpage and here I will select the GitHub to download this great program. Here I will navigate to the releases tab of the GitHub and I will scroll down a bit and here under the assets I will click this windows64.update.zip file. Right now I will click here show in folder and I will right click on it and click, click extract all. And as you can see, we have these two files at the moment. If I close this folder once again, here you will see this extracted folder from first um, zip file. I will cut this file, go to this PC, local disk C, and here I will recommend that you create another folder. I will call it tweaks, and then I will paste this extracted um, my doc finder program right here. I will open the folder and I will click doc64.exe um, file or application. Then I will click more information and click run anyway. So here we have my dog finder and here at the top we have macOS uh, menu bar at the top and also at the bottom we have macOS dock on our windows. I will just close my web browser at the moment and as you can see we also have all the menus in the Chinese. So to fix that I will right click on this uh, macOS dock and I will select the second option from the bottom to the top. And then I will navigate, scroll down a bit on the first page of the settings and I will here select English. So right now I will scroll down a bit and here at this uh, last page of the settings I will select also the second option from the bottom to the top. So this one and then I will click OK. So this should um, actually restart our program and apply the English language back. So as you can see we have everything in English right now. So at the bottom we also have old Windows uh, start uh, menu and also the taskbar. I will right click on our macOS dock and uh, here I will click hide the taskbar. This should fix our issues and as you can see it looks pretty nice already. So this program also has the launchpad. For example if I click the launchpad right here you have the prompt to drag the exe and ink files right here. And right now I will go to the Finder or Microsoft um, Explorer. Here I will go to the local disk C, program files. Here I will go to the Internet Explorer and here I will drag this exe file to the launchpad. And here I will click OK and then I will launch launchpad and as you can see we have Internet Explorer right here into the launchpad. But if you also want to add uh, more uh, applications to the launchpad, you will right click on the launchpad and here you will add an icon and this is the same procedure as I talked before. At the top of the finder you will also find the Apple logo. Here you have some options so about this computer, system settings, app restore and many more. Right now I will also show you how to add icons to the dock. So if you right click on the dock you can add a separator. For example you can separate some programs with this separator. So you can also add a system icon or also add a normal icon. For example I will show you how to add a normal icon. So you will click on that one. Here I will select right here on the three dots right here. Then I will go to the this PC, local disk C, program files, I will select let's say here Windows Media Player and here I will select VM Player. Here I will select OK. You can also use Icon Mask for example if you have some icon, custom icons. But then you will also click OK and as you can see you just successfully added the brand new icon to the dock. Right now I will also guide you through some settings of this program which I think are most useful. So if we get straight to them I will click to the preferences and here we have the first global settings of this 
program. So the first setting that catches my eye is global interface display scale. So for example, here you can select your display scaling of this um, great program. So as you can see uh, at the top menu bar also uh, appeared bigger and also uh, doc also got bigger scale right now. So I will select back to the 100 because I think it looks most appealing. Um, here we also have global interface color mode. For example, we have the option to select light, dark mode or even automatic or even system. So whichever setting your Windows has, uh, it will also apply with this program. But right now I will select the light version. Here we also have global interface accent color. So for example, you can select which color you prefer, but I will also pick right here the blue one, which I like the most. Then we also can turn off or on global blur effect with this first option at the moment and it looks like that. Um, the system color also follows the My Clock Finder for example. You can also enable this setting and it will also get the accent color from the windows and we, it will apply to the My Dock Finder app. Then we also have the option to automatically check from program updates and also automatically start at boot. I will apply this feature because I really like this program and it should actually run at startup of the uh, windows. Then we also can select the refresh rate of the program. For example, these animations at the bottom of the dock, you can also select the refresh rate of that as well. For example, right now it's set to 60, but if you have a monitor with more refresh rate, you can actually select this option as well. Then we also have the program language and default font, nothing interesting right here. Then we also have the general um, tab uh, of the settings. Here we can also enable icon default size, for example, we can make the dog bigger or even smaller. Uh, I think I can relate to a bit smaller dog. Then we also have icon zoom size. So these are these options here as well. I can e either increase this option uh, value or decrease it. I will select, let's say something at the hundred. I think it looks right now quite nice. Then we also have the option to distance between icons. For example, the icons, so the spacing between the icons in your dock. For example, we can uh, move them apart for uh, let's say 10 pixels and then we can also bring them together. For example, I will select right here 5. I think it's a great middle ground. Then we also have dock distance from the edge of the screen. For example, you can set your um, dock, let's say somewhere in the one quarter of the screen or at the bottom you can select it without this uh, spacing at the bottom of the screen. So I really like let's say zero, I think it's the best value right here. Then we also can change the dock screen position, for example, we can select it to the left and as you can see it looks like that right now. Then we can also select it to the right and it looks like that. But in my personal opinion at the bottom is the best option for me. But you can either pick your preferred value as well. Then we also have the select the screen to display the dock. For example, if you have multiple monitor setup, you can either select uh, this dock to appear to uh, any other monitor. Then we also have the sele select the screen to display the launchpad. For example, we can also have this option as well. Under advanced tab, we have a lot more settings as well. We can, we can add a mask effect to all icons. We can double click the folder icon to open. We can lock icon drag. For example, we have this option disabled right now and we can drag uh, these icons as well. But if I enable this feature, you won't be able to do that anymore. So if I enable it again, we, you should be able to drag these icons once more. So here we also have show icon tag text, click the icon to bounce to the open the program. Then we also have show indicators for open applications. We can enable this feature as well. And as you can see, we have this indicator at the bottom of the finder right here. Then functions in the lower left corner of the screen. So this, I think it's a really neat feature in my opinion. So let's show start menu. I will enable this feature. And if I put my mouse right here to the bottom left corner, it should open the Windows start menu. And it looks like that. But you can also pick whichever setting you would like from this um, settings right here. Then under man minimize window, we have minimized the window to the dock. So this is this beautiful animation. So if I open the calendar, for example, 
and I minimize it and as you can see this is the beautiful animation that I'm talking about. In my opinion it looks really really nice so and as you can see we also have the running application uh, right here in the dock. I think it looks great. Um, so here we also have the close window minimize animation so for example if I close this one it should also close with animation. Minimize windows into application icons. Well, we can also do that as well and if I once again open the calendar and minimize it should actually um, minimize to the icon but right now I think this is bugged so it looks like that at the moment. Then under the select direct x version we can select direct x12 so in my opinion this should be the default value as well. This is the enable window preview so if I hover my mouse under this window preview and as you can see it looks like that right now then we also have window preview size we can also downscale this a bit at the moment then also the delay the display preview so we can also have delay even bigger or smaller so for example right now it looks like that at the moment application name we can disable this feature so there won't be application name at the at the current time if i enable this feature and also window control buttons and uh, it looks like that at the moment so if i disable this feature there shouldn't be x right here so if i enable it the x should be here as you can see so we also have show, show full window preview on mouse hover so for example it looks like that and as you can see we have the full window running right here. Uh, under general we have the select the button style on the left so for example we can select a file so uh, some custom icons or we have also select the windows one. Then we also have choose finder color mode for example we have the wallpaper or we can have the settings so it will actually apply to the light theme of our my dog finder uh, theme preferences but i really like the wallpaper settings so i will use this one as well then we also have the maximize the window to use immersive mode so it will actually um, maximize the window so if i open this program open it once again and it looks like that. Then we also have the time right here so choose date display format for example you can select the format then we also have choose time display format audio settings so show volume icon in the finder play volume change sound so for example it will play on the change of the sound and then we also have select the volume and brightness prompt style for example we have currently set it to the system we can also select it to the iOS or the Mac so for example if I select this one it should look like that but I think volume up hotkey we can select let's say TTRL oh as you can see we have this option so this is the volume up hotkey so TTRL plus backspace it should actually increase our volume and it looks like that but if I enable the iOS version it looks like that right here but I really like the Mac version so I will apply these settings so you can also select a volume down hotkey or also volume mute hotkey. Under display we have show display icon in the finder then we also have brightness up hotkey so we can also select these um, hotkeys as well. Then under network we have show wi-fi icon in the finder, show bluetooth icon in the finders and under monitor we can enable these specific monitors right here. For example the CPU we have this monitor right here at the top for temperature and we have memory, disk and also network bandwidth. Under battery we also have show battery icon in the finder, finder and also show battery percentage. Then under wallpaper we have select wallpaper theme. For example we have currently set to none or we can also load wallpaper theme same as from windows or download wallpaper themes from their web page or website and as you can see you can actually download these um, wallpapers from their web page and under about section you can actually update program with quit check for updates and as you can see we have the latest version right here and uninstall a program so right now uh, you can restart a program if you have uh, some problems uh, with it or you can also uninstall a program right now. I will also show you if you don't want this um, skin to be, be applied on your system. So if I click uninstall a program, I will click OK. I will click X right here. And right now you, you should see that we have stock Windows 11 right here at the moment. And with that said, I hope you successfully transformed or skinned your Windows to look like Mac OS. 
and if you did a sub to the channel would be also highly appreciated and that's it have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace